What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Hockey here, back again with another Toronto Maple Leafs 2021 season player preview, player season preview, whatever it is, guys, I'm literally recording this at quarter to date, another player preview for the 2021 season, you guys see the title, this is one of the big names, Mitch Marner, a lot of people's favorite player, a lot of people's least favorite player, which is crazy. Uh, a lot of people don't like him considering the contract negotiations. A lot of people love him because he puts up points and, you know, he's a lovable guy. You know, he's Mitch Marner. He's funny. He does his thing, but controversy is around this guy. Now, let me just tell you, first of all, he's a, he's a good guy. I've met him. From my experience, he's a good guy. He's very young. He's getting paid a lot of money. If there was none of this stuff going on in the world right now, and I don't want to talk too much about his contract because we will get into it a little more later, but this contract wouldn't look so bad if the salary cap was going up the way it was supposed to be going up. Within the next two years, it was supposed to go up as high as $10 million, right? Because of a new TV deal and because of an expansion team coming in. That's more revenue for the NHL. This contract wasn't wouldn't look as bad. Do I think he got overpaid? Yes. Do I think that overpaying a good player is better than overpaying a guy like Jeff Skinner or a Louis Erickson? Hell yeah. I would much rather like Mitch Marner giving me 90 points than a Louis Erickson who's fighting for third line minutes or on the fourth line getting paid big money. L let's chill, guys, okay? Let's look at some numbers for Mitch Marner who is obviously one of the better players on this team you can argue he's the best there's there's i think it's obviously austin matthews but you can have your arguments whatever but mitch marner is a fantastic hockey player that i love to watch he's shifty he makes great passes you know he can score every once in a while he does a little bit of everything so let's look at some numbers here so um obviously like i said 23 years old Former first overall, for first round pick, fourth overall, sorry, in 2015, six foot 175 pounds. Um, again, just a phenomenal hockey player since coming in the 16 17 season, 61 points in 77 games played, then 69 points in 82 games played, then he jumped up to 94 points in 82 games played. So, you know, when people are complaining, those numbers are huge, uh, and then this year again. Uh, over a point per game, 67 points in 59 games played. And you guys can see he is very capable uh, of putting up these 20-plus goal seasons. Um, I am one of those people that think that, you know, even though it's going to be a shortened season, that Mitch Marner could put up um, close to 20 goals uh, because I think that he's going to get the opportunity to to score a little bit more. I think that Marner himself knows that he should shoot the puck. Uh, a little bit more than he does. He's given up some pretty great A opportunities to to pass the puck, and sometimes that goes well, or sometimes it goes miser miserable. Um, I, I'd rather see him shoot the puck a little bit more because he can score. We've seen it a lot. He's got a wicked shot. You know, there's been a few goals against Boston that I've really liked. He scored a few against Columbus that were just nasty, and I'm not just talking playoffs, like regular season goals. You guys can go watch the highlights, and I'm sure you have, but he has scored some really, really nice goals with a very good release uh, that he doesn't show all the time. I'd really like to see him shoot the puck more. Now, we are going to get into his contract. And again, let's try to refrain from in the comments going absolutely crazy in, in terms of fighting each other on the contract. I would have loved Mitch Marner's contract to be around $9.5 million. I think that that would be fair. I would have liked him at $9 million even more. But nine point five probably would have seemed a little bit more in the ballpark of what I would have paid him if I was a GM. But again, there's tons of situations behind the scenes. There's tons of things that people are just seeming, you know, to ignore because they want their point to come across better. There's there's arguments for both sides, but let, let's try to be civil, okay? Um, this is contract, obviously, alternate captain, 10.893. So very close to an $11 million contract. So his deal obviously is going to finish in the 24-25 season where he has a no movement clause. Um, this is a big contract. This is a very, very big contract. But if you look at these bonuses that he's getting paid, if the Leafs, like hypothetically, if the Leafs were to tr to entertain trade offers, let's say the Leafs don't even make it out of the first round again this year, that goes down 
um, to 9.6, 7.5, whatever. This is the money that he's getting paid out up front. He's he's already gotten paid a lot of his contract. Like the the way that the Leafs have paid him, and and if you look closely into the details, and this has been explained on TSN Sportsnet, whatever, uh, and also my friend Downtown Sports, make sure to go subscribe to him. He's explained it as well. Sure, the cap hit is still going to be always 10.893, but teams that don't have to pay him that, um, you know, right away, like the, the signing bonus, whatever, like the base salary, if you look into, like, look at this contract, like he's getting paid less than what his, his AAV is um, technically. Technically, this is what he's getting paid. So I'll make a video on this. This is too much to include in this, but he's he just know that the team's paying the real money, like not just the cap money, but his like just real money in dollars. The Leafs have paid a good chunk of that already, like literally thirty million dollars. So he's gotten paid quite a few, like literally half of the contract almost. So the team that would acquire him wouldn't be paying you know, this 10.8 every single year, they'd be paying less and less. And well, it would go to 7.25. That's what they would technically be paying him. But the Leafs have paid out a humongous chunk of this. Like it would be over half if they traded him after they paid out this bonus on whatever it is like July 1st. So would I trade Mitch Marner? No. But if the Leafs don't make it out of the first round this year, everything's on the table besides Austin Matthews, in my opinion. Uh, I'd love to keep uh, pretty much everybody on this team, but it, it wouldn't make sense for the Leafs to just keep going the same way unless they were figuring out ways to make other sections of their team better by trading somebody else. I don't know what would happen, but they would have to, to really consider moving on from a guy like Mitch Marner, even though it would be absolutely terrible, in my opinion. But I think this year Mitch Marner is, is going to come out with a chip on his shoulder. And I don't think a lot of people are talking about it, but I think that this guy has a lot more to prove. Um, although, and like people might be shaking their heads at that being like, dude, the guys like put up nearly a hundred points already in one season. You know, he, we know what we're getting. No, like the guy is still so young. Like what? He's like 21 years old, right? No, 23. Sorry. He's still, he's still super young. 23 years old is not an older player in the NHL. Like some people are like, oh, well, Marner's, you know, he's, he's getting older every year. And, you know, he's put up like, I just shake my head sometimes. I just, I shake my head. This guy is not fully developed into, you know, his frame that he's probably trying to build. He's prob probably trying to get a little bit stronger. But I need to explain to people that like, when you draft Mitch Marner, you know what you're getting in a sense. Like, Marner's not going to turn into some wicked defensive forward, even though he's shown very good glimpses of being a defensive forward, you know, back-checking and stuff like that. But, like, he's not going to turn into this physical beast. He just needs to be Mitch Marner and put up points. He needs to be quick. He needs to be shifty. But he needs to fine-tune some things that, again, I am not in a position to coach anybody. Okay, but I would say that he's still really young. He's still got things to learn and that he's going to, you know, continue to put up points. But I'd like to see him shoot the puck a little bit more. I'd like to see him eliminate some of, you know, the 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 not just deeks, but like some of the movements that he makes with the puck that are just unnecessary. I'd like to see him almost simplify his game a little bit more because I think that he just moves so fast and tries to think so fast all the time that if he just dumbed it down a little bit, that he would become an even better player. But that's just my assessment. Uh, again, I'm no expert when it comes to that. I, again, I've watched hockey my whole life. I've played it my whole life. And I've seen a lot of really talented players that have I've personally played with that have moved on to play, you know, you know, European hockey or even, you know, got drafted to the NHL. But it's like Marner is so talented and I really don't think we've seen the best of him. He's 23. I don't think we've seen the best of him. He's got so much more that he can do that I think people are, you know, just seeming to ignore that players get better um, especially when you're drafted so high and he's already shown us that he's able to put up over 90 points. It's not like we're just throwing a guess out there. 
Marner is going to touch an 100-point season when we get a full 82. He's going to touch 100 points. And I just I think that this guy has so much more that he's going to give. So I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about this because I have tons of player previews to do. But I'm very excited for Mitch Marner this year. I think that he is going to go out there with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to prove a lot of people wrong, which seems so silly because he's so good. But if they don't get out of the first round, don't be surprised if his name comes up. And that's a long way to to, to go. We've got a long way to go for that. And I don't want to talk about that. I want to be talking about how the Leafs won a couple rounds this year and they and they look a lot better. That's what I want to talk about at the end of this year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave your predictions for Mitch Marner uh, down below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.